all right you guys thank you so much for coming um please take the time to like and subscribe to my youtube channel star card tarot let the stars guide you i'm here to just do a reading for anyone that's missing their divine masculine um we are going through different type of situations so just take the reason how it resonates so i feel like someone is choked up and then i got this little feeling in my belly as well so some of you could be pregnant and not know it so that just came to me because the feeling that i got didn't know what feeling it was and i was channeling um but some of you can be pregnant and not know it what I, now what i'm sensing is like a little fluttery feeling you know a little fluttery feeling in your belly and it kind of was like is this anxiety but i have anxiety so i was like mm, that's not anxiety what was this feeling um so spirit said that it some of you are pregnant and don't know it is a little fluttery feeling that you're feeling in your stomach um some of you need to take some pregnancy tests okay um that's not for everybody but when you take a test obviously it's for you um i also got choked up so that's specifically a lot of what you're feeling choked up like choked up so some of that like that specific feeling like you could even have told someone i am choked up over this girl like that specific saying or because i felt a lot of uh, like you know how when you're crying or you're doing an ugly cry you're like uh, like you get so choked up in your cry and it's like um it's choked up a lot of y'all is choked the fuck up okay um all right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, this reading is for the general collective where we are all going through different um, type of separations with our divine masculine. I ask that you release the messages onto the viewers who matter the most. I guess you can say what crowd, a specific crowd that we're directing to tonight. What's going on with the divine masculine? Will he return? We want some answers. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, archangels, come down with unconditional love, guidance, clear and concise messages for my community and tribe, and for myself as well. I am in separation as well. Um, so, what is going on? What messages do we have here? Okay, so this flew out. Someone's in distance and separation with a Taurus. Definitely waiting, in, waiting here. There's some confusion, some emotional confusion, but this person does want a high level commitment and they're going to be coming back. So if you're dealing with a, a Taurus here, this person is waiting to come back to you. Bottom of the deck is um, Knight of Swords. So there, this person will be communicating with you soon, maybe in like three weeks or three months from now. Um, mind you guys, I am practicing timing. Everybody does timing differently. So I am definitely um, trying to figure out what timing with the tarot works for me because I definitely want to provide people with timing. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a learning process for me. <clears throat> um, all right, spirit guys, what else do we have? Um, when will the divine masculine return? This is for anybody who needs it. Spirit guides, okay. All right. Okay, so someone, <laughs> so, <laughs> this is funny, someone's going to return faster than what you think, someone's like watching you, whatever you're doing, um, whatever you're doing, it's going to, oh, <laughs> this is funny, what did I say, bottom of the deck, someone's going to return faster than you think, <laughs> and I'm laughing because this person is hilarious, this person watches you or stalks you. <laughs> and um they got you feeling like they're not coming back but they are whatever you do i think on your social media you might it might come off that you're not even missing them or something like that you could be dealing with a leo by the way but um it could come off that um you're not worried about them i don't give a fuck about nan huh? uh -uh, or nan divine masculine <laughs> so uh like i said yeah y'all gonna community be communicating soon i felt this energy i was like this motherfucker is funny as hell yeah, they act like they ain't stalking you, but they're not stalking you. They're stalking you. Obviously, a lot of us are feeling mighty, mighty single right now. Spirit guide, what other messages do we have? When will he return? When will he return? 
Ooh, that's too many cops. Ooh, tower card. Mm. So a lot of you are going through a tower moment, right? A lot of you feel like you're fucking drowning. Like, you know how you're drowning and then you... you know, I know We all watch movies when someone is drowning. And then you know when they're like holding their breath. And then you... The bubbles come up and they ain't got no more breath to hold. But they're still trying to hold their breath. It's like you guys are drowning right here. And you guys feel like you can't, you can't even um, come up for air. Like at this point, you may, may have, you may have, okay, so let me slow it down a bit. Sometimes when you're channeling, just so much information comes in, I can't say it all at once. So what I'm getting is that you guys uh, have kind of pet, like made yourself very comfortable in this drowning feeling, even though it's uncomfortable as fuck, right? A lot of shit's uncomfortable that we do continuously, right? Because of habits and patterns, right? So I feel like you guys have made, you know, this place, this drowning place comfortable here. Like, until they come back. So it, a lot of you haven't moved on from this person being gone. This could be a Scorpio or Aries. <clears throat> I feel like someone's going through it with you. Like, they're drowning, too. Yeah. You guys are trying to get to the root of the problem. Um, I don't know. I don't know, the, I don't know if the answers are below water, though. You know, you might, you might want to ascend and descend. <laughs> Shit. Because y'all motherfuckers is going down below. Down below. Oh, oh. Like, y'all, you might want to ascend, okay? You get your answers if you ascend. Ascend. Go up. Go up. You ain't gonna get them down there. Y'all motherfuckers are swimming down, down. No, 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 they're not down there. They are not down there. <laughs> they're not down there. I can promise you that. But that's where you guys are. Okay. When, when, when is he coming? When is he returning, spirit? Okay. Oof. That's really deep. So, um, some of you, you guys go through extreme highs and lows with your person. Some of you are going through, some of you are overthinking this situation. Like, this is weird because you have the tower card. I can read this so many ways. Some of you guys go to through extreme highs and lows with your person. Some of you guys are feeling like this is the worst case scenario, but it's really not. So some of you guys, your person's going to re be returning way sooner. Or your person never went anywhere. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> like, like, we have the tower card and ten of cups. That is two compolar opposite, okay? Like, it's like, what the fuck? I, was like, this is, I can read it so many different ways. But the energy that I'm picking up on oh, that's most prominent here is that your lover's returning sooner than you think. Or the situation is not as bad as you feel. Your family's not truly separated. You're viewing it like this. And it's like, you've been through this before. Like, you know this motherfucker coming back? It's like you kind of are uh, addicted to that feeling. And then didn't I say someone's comfortable down there? Like, yeah, that's what I felt. Comfortability with the tower card. It's because th th this, this motherfucker ain't really went nowhere. So, um, y'all must like attention. Whoever that's for. Scorpio, Mars, doesn't have to be also have um with the cups here you have a uh, cancer pisces scorpio with the water signs here 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 yeah when, when is he coming back did somebody say something he okay hold on because my my phone is tilted different hi sorry yes i need to know when or okay you're a Gemini. Okay, spirit guys, angel. That's probably this damn air sign right here that ain't watching you. Shit. Spirit guys, angels. When is Nadia's Gemini male coming back? Spirit guys, angels, answers. Spirit, when is Nadia? Um. Ooh, I see you're hopeful. That's a damn show. Mm. Regrets. He's sad over you. He's hopeful that you guys will get back together. That's the energy that I'm getting. But he's still, like, focused on past regrets. I don't think, like, he... This is giving me a guilt energy. Like, you know how you feel guilty about something? You feel like somebody might not accept you? That's what I'm feeling from this. So, 
uh, you might it might take you having to reach out to him. Like, he's hopeful that you guys will get back together, but he's not taking action. He's still, like, kind of, like, damn, she's not going to accept me. Like, that's the energy I'm picking up on heavy. So you might have to, like, reach out to him. He don't feel like you're going to take his, his offer. Okay? So. Yeah. Yeah, I see, like, um, I think he finds you very attractive still. With the sun. He got some devil energy attached to him, though. So be careful. But he, like, you would have to reach out to him or something. He just, like, is. I think we already all been in that energy where it's like, um. Yeah, we just, are, that regret leaves us stagnant, right? It just, we, it's just, uh, that regret just leaves us stagnant. We just, like, I don't know. You know, ego. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, it's like ego, it's emotion. I'm feeling a lot of different ways, but he just. I, I feel like he's scared of rejection, like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, he, it's like he, he he's try, he's calling you in. I could definitely feel that. He is manifesting you in. He is calling you in. He could be dreaming about you. Um, but he he will not reach out. Mm -mm. Hell, he even will probably go as far as to, like, being caught, like, stuck, um, self-sabotaging, like, if you reached out. That's the type of energy I'm getting. Like, that stupid. Like, this motherfucker's that stupid. Like, if you reach out, he'll be, like, uh, uh, choked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The word that I said in the beginning, a lot of motherfuckers choked up. He'll be choked up, like, uh, 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 uh. Like, you know what I mean? It's it, it devil energy. Yeah, so that's 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 on that. Um, Leo, is my Leo in, is still in here? Where's my Leo, boo? Did she leave? She probably did. Because I have a message for you here, too. My dear Leo boo, but I'll, I'll message you. <laughs> but yeah, girl, I won't even recommend re reading out. Um, I went into a deep meditation before I did this. And I told myself I'm going to go into deeper meditation so I can really channel in the energy. I could feel his energy. I could tell you he got the energy that he will choke up even if you called him. Like one of them type of motherfuckers. And that's why that devil energy is attached. It's just real. I could feel his energy. He's a dumb motherfucker. I don't know. He one of the motherfuckers that'll make me mad. And then, then I'm mad because that's the type of shit I be doing. <laughs> that's what the gag is. I be like, uh, <laughs> a motherfucker will call me. I'm a manifester and be like, um, and just ruin it. And then text right after I ruin it. Like, oh, so you want to see me? <laughs> but I'm getting, I don't think he would text after that, but I'm getting, he would choke up and he won't even know, like, I don't think he feels like he's ready or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's still like, yeah, it's still a lot of water between y'all. Mm hmm That he's, he's standing there. He's, yeah. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> All right, sir, guys, angel ancestors. What else do we have? Oh, happy birthday, Gemini. That's probably why that star card here is, too. But I feel like he's sad. Like he's he's not he's not where he wants to be for his birthday to be today. I could t damn sure tell you he ain't where he's supposed to be. I could tell you that. You know, some people birthday pass, and um, they feel like um, they're not where they're supposed to be. He don't feel like he's where he's supposed to be. He's, he has a very sad energy. I don't know. Got some blockages to remove. Fear so guys, what else do we have here for the collective general? Okay. So some of you, bottom of the deck. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Some of y'all motherfuckers, uh, dudes that moved on. And, um, this could be, um, B for Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. But you have the Queen of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. So it does look like someone, while you're over here crying and, and trying to hold back your emotions. You probably got two kids, three kids. And um, mm, for some reason, I feel like your house is decorated colorful. Like you like a lot of colors. Like colors make you happy. Probably like a lot of shimmer. A lot of colors. There's a lot of colors here that's sticking out. Uh, it's very uh, significant here. Uh, a lot of colors. I feel like somebody is, they like decorating their home very colorfully. Right? Like wearing bright, gaudy colors. 
like see me it could have, have to do with a self-esteem is issue but i do see here whatever person you're uh, the part with you you're crying over them and they like the fact that you're crying over them look at this motherfucker i don't like him i don't like his feelings Ooh, somebody is very narcissistic mm -mm, i ain't even gonna say what i just heard Mm. Yeah, this is the energy that I felt very in and out. You do what I say, like lower level though. And then like just sneaking out, yeah, and but also making sure like you still have a whole cup of love for them. This is some Yeah, so some of you guys are dealing with someone who doesn't feel that divine to be quite honest. It looks it sound it feels like you could be like there's a very significant connection with this person, but I could tell you that they're very damaged. They're very hurt. Um, it's like they want you to drown in their love, right? They, it's like they want you to prove that you you love them over and over again. They hold secrets from you. And they're very flighty in and out, and they're very demanding and egotistic. Like, I just heard, you didn't, you didn't, why you didn't do what I said? Yeah. This person acts different around, I feel like this person is an abuser. I feel like they act different around, um, this could be a Pisces. This can be a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like this person acts different. Um, he feels like he, he tricks you. And then that's why your head is down like this. I don't know. They don't feel like no goddamn divine energy. That's for sure. Um, I also know that you, this person is not in separation from you like that. This person is just flighty in and out. You know, going to do what they do. And then coming back like, you know their secret. You know they're sleeping around. But they still want you to offer that cup of love. That's why their hand is out. You're hesitant to say that. You know, you're hesitant to give them the love. But you still... But this motherfucker is like your mind like he could do whatever the fuck he wants and um that's weird next uh yeah and you decide you think you want to be single you should that's sagittarius i'll i feel like somebody's dealing with that sagittarius um what else do we have spirit because those type of energies just kind of set me off when is um when is the divine when is when is he returning I can't even think. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, when is he returning? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, when is he returning? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, when is he returning? Any more messages? Someone's returning very soon. Yeah, somebody's returning very soon. Okay. So a lot of you feel like you got left out in the cold with your lover, but I do see that you're waiting right and there's going to be a celebration here you're working hard to put together a celebration perhaps um <clears throat> so you have the lovers gemini energy here someone was left out in a cold but it feels like you guys are out in a cold together <laughs> someone's out in the cold together with their mate and you guys are waiting to grow some things perhaps together because i have two people here two people here you're waiting for something on your got your side to grow um so you can grow together in unison. So it's like, I feel like you guys are together because there's two people, the lovers, the two, the, there's two people out in the cold together in this deck. And then it's like, there's something on your end, divine feminine, that you're waiting to grow. Here, you know, everybody has some, some type of work they need to do, something, some fruit, fruit state them um, bared um, in order. Yeah, so you're waiting. For something to grow in order to bring into like a celebration or just be in unity and union ship with someone that you love care about it's not a spilt emotions i feel but it's something you're diligently working on a sun up sun down type of energy that's what that card reminds me of sun up sun down type of energy um so i also feel here that your person is returning okay whoever this is for um yeah, your person is returning. There's offers here. There's stability, time, you know, clarity, honesty, and, and two people again. So you, you, whoever this is, 
your person is returning. I'm definitely getting Gemini energy. It doesn't have to be. It also could be Virgo's energy. Um, but uh, this is a, of a significant relationship, period. Uh, I shot, shot off the signs that I know I've noticed that people love that um, but it doesn't have to represent a particular sign but I do see here yeah so there's someone in separation out in the cold yeah but yeah someone's gonna be in unionship very soon that's for sure and all signs are here in this draw really except for fire so all signs are here except for the Sagittarius Leo and um, Aries so I'm, I'm if you haven't noticed I'm reading them in um, separately usually I try to like put all the cards down and try to pick all the stories out and it, it just gets so confusing so I'm reading different stories separately <sighs> all right we have gemini virgo's energy here aries energy here leo i'm, I'm sorry sagittarius energy um aquarius libra gemini okay so a lot of you guys are wrapped up in your head you guys want to manifest um something back right but you <laughs> you're not sure because you want to be wrapped up in your head if you're sure. There's emotions here seeping through. It's very dark. So there's a lot of secrets here. A lot of hidden feelings. A lot of feelings that were going round and round in our head here. A lot of you feel bare like outside. Like probably the inside even feels cold. I'm getting a very cold feeling. A very type of despair feeling. And you guys could be trying to manifest a Gemini, Virgo, Aries, or Sagittarius back into your life, and you want to bring you want to be it wants you want to bring this energy back in with peace though. I feel like you want a peaceful communication, a peaceful life. You want the love to be peaceful, but your thoughts surrounding it are very unpeaceful because it's so you're you're. This is definitely like Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy that's going round and round and round and round and round in their head with their own fucking thoughts up all motherfucking night, wrapped in their own thoughts, passionate thoughts, thoughts that hurt, thoughts that make them feel extra emotional, depressing thoughts, all different types of th th thoughts here. Um, then she has the all-seeing eyes on her dress, which I just noticed. So you're going over and over with your head about everything you know. <laughs> definitely Aquarius energy what do I know what do I know what do I know and then it, it, it just extends but I see that you want to call back in this situation with peace and harmony um somebody could be definitely blending some elements I'm getting alchemy here I'm getting spell work I feel like someone could be doing spell work to bring someone back in yeah mm -hmm. yeah but very indecisive um, your lover perhaps will come in slowly. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, because we have the all seeing eye here all over her dress. And you also have it here. So she knows. So so whoever is calling back in this lover is very psychic. Okay. And they, they're definitely uh, doing magic under the moon. Okay. Burying roots. That's how I feel. And then your person is going to come rushing, rushing back in for communication. So... Um, uh, yeah, keep burying your roots, I guess, if that's what you do. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what other stories do we have? Okay. Someone's confused. I don't know which way to go. No. They don't know if they should move on or not. Yeah, they don't know if they should be move on or not. Oh, my goodness. What should I do? where should i go worries anxieties oh my god it feels like your <laughs> all your thoughts are melting into each other because you know when you're up all night staying up and you're thinking you start losing track of um uh you start losing track of what thought you had should start looking delusional so what i have here is strong water energy cancer pisces scorpio and then i have um Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy as the underlying energy. Someone's up all night thinking about 
what decisions they should make an offer that hasn't been took you know what offers can they take right here when you have decisions and offers this has to be about making choices and making the best choice and receiving offers here you have cancerous energy that's prominent here um harnessing the energy to uh this has to do with Harnessing the energy in order to move forward from something that obviously has you in anxiety But it looks like someone has to take an offer right probably an offer that they don't want to take since they're hesitant on their choices I mean you have weed here snake you have like a wig head mushrooms jewelry We yeah, you have weed twice. You have a joint and then actual weed. <laughs> this is so funny So funny um and a cloud, the clouds are green. So somebody high as shit. <laughs> Trying to think of all their options. They probably get high and feel like they think better. But they feel like whatever option is being offered is not the best option. And someone's trying to make it seem like it is, right? Or, but I, that's the energy that I get. I don't feel like you will be this hesitant and, and anxiety if this was a good offer. A good offer is a good offer. But I feel like you, there's a sense, intuitive sense, like this ain't no good offer. Yeah, if you up all night and you got to think like this instead of taking action. So you're waiting on the best offer so you can take action, right? You're waiting for an offer that this offer has some stars, yes, but this here got some stars, stars. So you want something that's going to bang for you, that resonates with you. Okay, bet. I'll take that. Because all that other bullshit you was offering was not it. I don't know what the fuck you was talking about. And I, <laughs> you better create a better option, bitch. That's what the fuck I... <laughs> That's for a specific story. I don't know. Uh, there's someone's waiting on a better option for their lover, I guess. It's interesting. Yeah, someone needs to make a judgment call. Some type of judgment call needs to be made here. This actually um, resonates with me with one a specific um, story for someone I know. Yeah, someone is in their garden they're thinking really hard about what is it that they should do she's thinking really hard about a judgment car car call a bird even came down to help her so whatever judgment call you're making someone's helping you someone's gonna come down and help you <laughs> this bird got a helmet on that's probably because this choice is tough to motherfucking make i think that bird got a helmet on but there's a judgment call that needs to be made right a truth some information someone seeking information someone needs to seek more information for a judgment call to be made or someone's waiting for a judgment call to be made someone's waiting for someone to see this is the king of swords right highest of the suit this is in demand yeah tell me what's gonna happen yeah, someone's looking to transition. Every time I see butterflies, I look at transitioning. Obviously, if you're looking to be judged or waiting to be judged, you're looking to transition out of whatever whatever light that you're currently being seen in. Mm-hmm. Resurrected. Mm-hmm. When I think of resurrection, I'm thinking, of, can I get the fuck out this coffin? Because there's people coming about the coffin, right? Whoa. Let them out, let them out, let them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rattles in your mouth. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get some uh, messages from, um, I got to do some homework tonight. I love these cards. This is Mystic Bees. Follow her on YouTube. She has really good information. I love watching her. Um, but this is from your divine, whoever you were thinking about right now, okay? Whoever you were thinking about right now, um... Please don't let me go. So someone is, um, you could be feeling that as well. Uh, you guys could feel like someone is moving away from you energetically. Because a lot of times um, we don't realize that uh, those energetic cords, honey, honey, be strong as fuck. Um, so someone is starting to feel like a release, right? And then the other person's calling out, please don't leave me. Like I can feel you energetically letting go of me. Some of you have been in, like I said, Jeepers Creepers and showed his face. And I, that's, someone's like watching their person on social media, but they acting like they don't. Mm hmm They be acting like they don't. But they do. They be watching, watching, and looking, looking. 
What's going on? Let's get some messages. Let's get some direct messages from the divine, the person that's gone. Let's get some direct direct messages from the person that's gone, the divine masculine that's gone spirit. Clear and concise messages. I ask that the energies flow through me. I ask to be a conduit and plug into the energies that are at hand. I ask to be protected through this. As I go within, someone feels a bandit. Aww. Spirit guides. Okay, they don't want to talk. Somebody finally want to talk. Alright. I feel like jumper cards are um, always best. All right, come on down. One second. Let me charge up my hands real quick. Usually it helps the um, cars pop with the most energy. So give me a second. Okay. Okay, that feels good. Okay. Terrified. Someone is terrified. Oh my God. Ugh. And that's, they're giving me like terrified and nine of swords energy. So it's like their anxiety is at an all time high right now. I don't know what they're terrified. Maybe they're terrified that they're never going to see you again. Um, terrified that you're going to move on with them, without them. They could be ter terrified for so many different um, reasons. Yeah, they could just be ter terrified that someone's going to expose a secret to them onto you. Um, expose a secret about them onto you, okay? My ex-boyfriend knows about that spiritual stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like they have a lot to say. Someone's stalking. Um... They ain't talking too much tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. Not from that deck, anyway. Um, let's see. Any messages from this deck? I love this deck as well. Mm. Some of y'all, y'all persons send. Um, they send. They 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 um astral project or they imagine. Um, sending their energy out to protect you, like praying, like just but th as them as an individual. And what did I just motherfucking say? Wings of love, guardians, and protection. I felt that energy as soon as I picked up the deck. I felt that energy, and that's the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck. I literally felt that energy. What else? Yeah, so that is so crazy. I'm not still get spooked out by the tarot, but I felt the energy be when I, as soon as I picked up. I didn't see the card or nothing, but I, you feel the energies, the archetypal energies, and that's how you're able to even speak to it. So, um, natural abilities that we all have, you just you know, gets you become more skilled on how to tap into. Them. So, um, some of you guys aren't aren't sure. Some of your divine masculines there. I'm trying to, um, I feel like a lot of them are acting as if they're avail they're available, right? But their heart is K, like, so if they're, your divine masculine is in separation, right? Y'all ain't talking that, you know, there's somebody out there that's attracted to them and they are available, right? They consider themselves available, but they don't consider their heart available, okay? They don't. There's only one person that has their heart, and it's the person that they're sending protection over. They want to, like, you know, no. I, and I sense that, yeah, that this person still loves you. Mm hmm They feel, uh, like, out in the cold. It's like this sweet, snowy feeling, like, I'm cold, but, like, if I can get, like, mm -hmm, it's kind of like a, um, 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 
like their nights without you so cold but the memories bring them warmth is what i'm getting but yeah that heart is caged honey somebody is like they looking like a snack and they like back back <laughs> back up down. they telling that other person it's a no for me you because it's a yes for somebody else but yeah I feel like the, the fact that y'all are in separation makes them feel so cold. But the memories keep them so warm. That's what I get from this card. Interference. Yeah. Someone is definitely... There's someone out there. This is the energy that I'm getting that, that actually knows you. And you're divine masculine. And, and, and <laughs> it's throwing pussy at them. Popping that pussy at them. I'm not lying. Um, obviously these type of things occur all the time, but someone that you know been wanting your divine masculine and actually is really glad that y'all in separation. And at the bottom of that is integrity. Yes, yeah, like, bitch, for real, that's what you're going to do? I like, enter some type of girl code or some shit? You just raggedy. You got no integrity. It, it, no, they don't. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. I hate to break it to you, but, um... They don't give a fuck. They ain't got no integrity, bitch. Where are my uh, advice cards? Mom, oh, here they go. Alright, advice. How can you, like, be cool? Look at balance spirituality with practicality. Pisces, full moon and Pisces. So what this is saying is be, be practical about not eating ice cream all day, every day, and being depressed and not going to work because you miss your divine masculine. Be practical about staying up all night thinking about something that you probably don't have to even think about. It, you, you're bringing more on pain to yourself. Spiritually, right? Be practical. If you are working with the elements of Mother Earth, be practical about what you're calling in as well. That's what I got with that. Um, and when you're manifesting, be practical because a lot of people might be manifesting something that they know that they truly don't want. And then what if it's there and you don't root it in, is you going to be able to get rid of that shit? You know, you might as well have a spell reversal. Because I, I seen somebody was doing root work. I know root work when I see root work. I seen root work. Okay, energy. I seen magic energy. I seen alchemy. Okay, I know what it looked like. You and your loved ones. Are safe okay so if you want if your divine masculine is safe he's safe your hard work is paying off so if whoever been rooting and shit is paying off but i also i'm just playing i also get a lot of you have been able to calm down that nine of swords energy and not suffer so much and you guys are playing you guys had to try walk really really hard also i get that because you were in separation you had to work really hard on yourself and now your hard work is paying off so it was like a hard work on top of hard work because you're getting over heartbreak and also that heartbreak powered you to work more or work diligently on whatever it was you were crafting as i seen that in the eight of pentacles a lot of you this actually forced you to um put more energy into your work and it's paying off so good for you a new romantic cycle begins your person and you will be back into union and you guys will be able to embark on a new romantic cycle okay and i do see i seen that with can't remember what card damn it but i did see a balance coming in for a few of you guys i seen it balance not emotionally spiritually physically or at least you guys wanted it to be that way i think i seen that with the peace the ace of cups I've seen it with the Ace of Cups of so someone wanting to bring a, a fair emotion of balance, um, a communication. Oh, no, I've seen it with the Magician card because it had the Doves above the Ace of Cups and Magician. Yeah, so I've I seen that you guys wanted to bring balance between home, life, time. Um, just like a balance between a love language. Like, let's see, learn each other's love language. That's the best way I could say it. Okay. So that reading is for if when when is he returning? You know, when is my divine masculine returning? When is when is he returning? So hopefully let me read these comments, honey. Oh, well they have the egg um thing where you take an egg and you rub it over your body and you crack it just a little bit and you put it in water overnight and then see how many things come up to the top. And they can tell you, like, um, I think it's called egg covering. 
Um, and it tells you if how many like little like you crack the egg just a little bit, right? And then you put it in the water, and then like the egg yolk, if it floats up, like the one floats up, two floats up, it will uh, let you know that you got two, two spells on you. Um, if nine floats up, it will let you know that you got nine spells on you. Mhm. Mm if zero flow up, then you ain't got no roots on you. That's yeah, it picks up the energy. All right, you guys, you have a great night. Please um, DM, DM me if you want, would like your very own private paid reading. And um, deuces.